Hello and welcome to another episode of EMA Product Reviews. Today with Zach Kilik from the uh, Cisco Cloud Center team. And Zach today will show how you create an application blueprint that you can then scale and deploy to basically any popular cloud in a policy-driven manner. Zach, uh, go ahead. Thanks. So an application profile in Cloud Center is really an outcome. It could be as simple as a virtual machine. It could be um, a service or it could be a full stack application with lots of different types of technology in it. Today, I'll be taking you through how we created this WordPress application profile. And immediately, you can see on the left-hand side that we have all these different services. Out of the box, there's about 40 services or so. And this list is completely extensible. Mm -hmm. The services out of the box actually run on virtual machines, virtual infrastructure that we dynamically deploy, but actually run containers inside of them so that you could potentially target those containers to something like Kubernetes or something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, you can see down here below is that I've got Apache and a MySQL database. And by dragging these, these uh, pieces in, these services in, uh, for example, I, as the architect, the person that knows about the application and how it needs to be installed and everything like that, all I need to know is that I need a specific service. I don't need to know what firewall rules uh, are, are appropriate or what um, images are supported my, by my enterprise. All I need to do is provide the piece of the puzzle that I know about, which is where the application files are, for example. So mm -hmm. here you can and see this that. is a service sec, right? This is not a server. This is just the Apache service that you can then, in the background, if there are more uh, visitors hitting the, the, the WordPress, you can scale this. But in the beginning, you don't really even have to worry about it. So you don't have to say, hey, maybe I need three or four of them. You just uh, drag the schema together of what it needs and how it's connected. And then in the back end, uh, uh, the logic will will apply the scalability as needed. Exactly. So here, here you can see the minimum and maximum nodes that allows mm -hmm. for that scaling. Now, our scaling is done either manually, you can you know manually trigger it, or we have these things called scaling policies that allow you to set automated triggers that say if the CPU or memory gets above a specific threshold, that it will automatically scale out and scale back in as needed. Mm -hmm. So basically what Amazon does, but uh, applied across any cloud, right? Not specific to, for example, the Amazon Elastic Beanstalk. Exactly, which means that you get to manage your applications in the same way across all the different clouds. Mm -hmm. Great. So from there, uh, let's go ahead and see how we actually deploy these. So um, deployment is very simple. As an end user, all I need to really do is supply two pieces of information. One is a name. So I can call this WordPress demo. And then two is a tag. So tags are really business uh, requirements that Cloud Center then takes and translates into the underlying technical capabilities of each cloud. Mm -hmm. So for example, if this um, WordPress uh, instance needed PCI compliance for some reason, I could choose PCI. And when I hit next, it shows me that it's going to go to a PCI compliant deployment environment of vCenter. Mm -hmm. Now, instead... What I want to do here, maybe, is go to a development instance. Again, I hit next, and now it's sending me to a development-approved deployment environment for vCenter. And that's all I have to do. I can now hit deploy, and it's going to go off and deploy the virtual infrastructure. Um, if you're using something like ACI or another type of uh, software-defined networking, it's going to create those, those network profiles for you. It's going to bring up the services, install the application, the end result is that you have a um, application profile. Uh, we can go into this one, like any good cooking show, already set up. And the application is up and running, mm -hmm. right? So that you don't have to do anything. You don't have to install, configure, or troubleshoot before you can start working on this application. And most of all, I do not have to learn the different network principles, for example, of the different public clouds. Right, Correct. because you do this translation, so I don't have to worry that I make a crazy mistake that will cost me later. Exactly. One of the things that we strive for in Cloud Center is to remove the mental mapping that end users have to do. Mm -hmm. So, uh, of them having to know, oh, if I'm going to vCenter, I need network X if I want right. um, internet access. If I'm going to Amazon, I need to mm -hmm. go to network ABCD to get internet access. Cloud Center does all that translation for you based on the tags, uh, based on the business requirements of your application. Yeah. Now, you know, say, um, now that we've deployed this and, and you can see how easy it is to deploy to one cloud, 
Now imagine that your business comes to you tomorrow and says, mm -hmm. hey, you know, we really want to um, enable AWS or some sort of cloud that you didn't previously enable. Because these application profiles are cloud neutral and, and declarative, um, that means that we can go into these deployment environments and here's our development environment. I can edit that. I can add in, enable Amazon basically with this AWS account that I've already created. I can hit done. And now when I go back into my app profile and I hit deploy WordPress, mm. I'll give it uh, AWS uh, WordPress. I'm gonna give it the same tag that I did before, which is development, and I hit next. It now gives me the ability to deploy to Amazon. Just as simple as that, right? Model once deployed to any cloud. Excellent. And uh, what you can, of course, also do is take a look at what the cost is going to be across any of those clouds. But we are at the end of our time today. Uh, this was another episode of EMA Product Reviews. Thank you very much, Zach. Thank you.